was designed for teachers and presenters, but those laser pointers are now causing major problems for pilots. Dave Malkoff live in Sun Valley with a special KTLA investigation into the helicopter habit. Dave. Micah, no doubt about it. Green lasers are very cool, and they are legal. You can use them to point up into the sky and point out star constellations like a giant green finger reaching up into the sky. But for some reason, a lot of people shoot them at helicopters and other aircraft, and look how it lights up the inside of that cockpit. This is a very powerful laser. We're going to try to do a live demonstration here and show you what it does to a black balloon. This is a 200-milliwatt laser that can just cut right through that black balloon and obviously it's not going to do it right now but um one more second and we can see if that can burn look at that that was just from the laser pointing through that balloon that was what popped that balloon was a powerful laser think of what that could do to your eye Do you have any eastern units available can help us out with somebody hitting us? He's running uh, southbound. Here we got him, guys. You're watching a police pursuit captured on a helicopter's infrared camera. He's laying under that tree right there. Oh, he's still hit. Right. But then again, this suspect on the run isn't armed with a gun. He's armed with one of these. Laser strikes occur when somebody on the ground shines a handheld laser up into the air and it uh, hits the cockpit of an airplane or helicopter. Watch your eyes, maybe close one eye. This is a green power laser. It's the dangerous device harming eyes in the skies. Lasers with green beams strong enough to do this. Aimed at aircrafts flying overhead. The laser can't have the same effect as a, as a weapon. There he is. You can be distracted to a certain extent that you cause you to lose control of the aircraft, ultimately crash and, and take the lives of, of, of innocent people. Sergeant Steve Robertson of Glendale and Burbank Police knows firsthand the damage these lasers can cause. You see, in the mid-90s, his vision was compromised after he was hit during a routine patrol flight. I burned both of my corneas. It felt like I was hit in the face with a baseball bat. I mean, instant pain. My vision was blurred. This year alone, the FAA has received 2,268 national laser strike reports from pilots of choppers, planes, and commercial jets. Of those, 78 were reported out of LAX. This is an extremely serious uh, crime, and if you are caught, you can face some serious prison time. And getting caught, police say, can happen as quick as a flash. On average, after a strike to one of our aircraft, we normally have located within about four to five minutes. Uh, being able to pinpoint where the subject is hiding or where they're located at. Okay, but we'll be taking this guy into custody. And they do that all the time. Look at the distance that this can travel. It's very powerful and can travel all the way to the tower here at Burbank Airport. That's happened several times in the last four days. And look at what happened just last night to us, to our chopper, Sky 5, taking a laser hit from a guy standing out on a balcony. Sky 5 actually found that guy. They called the police. They told them where this guy was standing. And the police came over and checked it out. Now, one thing that you have to remember, if you're going to go out there and you're going to play with these, just know that wherever you point that beam, there's a giant beam pointing back to you. And in the last year and a half, just Glendale and Burbank police departments, they've taken nine people into custody for this kind of stuff. Micah?